Hi guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are gonna share with you unforgettable taste of Korean style garlic fried chicken with vegetables. Guys, you are gonna be totally in love with Korean cuisine because this is the reason I fall in love with this cuisine. If you like our videos, guys, don't forget to click the like button and you can also subscribe to our channel. So let's get it started, guys. So guys, let's let's share with you what type of ingredients we are going to need. So I'm going to go ahead and start with vegetable oil. Here we are going to use one glass of vegetable oil for frying the chicken. Then we are going to need one tablespoon of olive oil. We have here soya sauce. In total, I'm going to use four tablespoons of soya sauce. We have here our honey and we are gonna use one teaspoon guys and also we have here apple vinegar in total i'm gonna use two tablespoons guys then we are gonna use also still water two tablespoons then coming back to ingredients here we've got approximately 150 grams of chicken fillet guys then we are gonna need two pieces of green pepper one green bell pepper, one onion, three carrots, three tablespoons of flour. Here we've got, uh, because Korean cuisine uh, uses a lot of spicy things, but we are using for our taste, guys. If you love more spice, you can use more. Here I've got one teaspoon of red hot chili pepper, then three pieces of red dried pepper. Also, we are gonna need one egg in total we are gonna need uh, seven pieces of garlic and a green fresh onion three pieces guys and we are coming back to our beloved spices guys here we've got salt black pepper and red sweet pepper guys So guys, what I did is I chopped in thin slices all the chicken fillet and I also chopped in very tiny pieces, two pieces of garlic. Rest of the garlic I just uh, cut in halves. All right, guys. So five pieces cut in half, two pieces we have chopped in very tiny pieces, guys. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add here two pieces of chopped garlic to our chicken then I'm gonna add here one tablespoon of olive oil and then here also I'm gonna add soya sauce two tablespoons this is how we are gonna marinate our chicken then try that chicken will be soaked in the soya sauce with all the things that we've added. Okay. So guys, we're gonna start opening fire on the highest level and we are gonna add, remember I told you I'm gonna use one uh, glass of um, vegetable oil. So here I'm gonna use four tablespoons, guys. So guys, what I did here was I uh, placed one uh, half of um, garlic to see if the oil was ready for it or not. We are going to basically make our garlic red color. That is the reason we are placing garlic first. For you, this is, remember the old green onion? So I cut the uh, white part of green onion and I just cut them in uh, um, like matchsticks, all right? So while the garlic is frying here, I'm gonna add now 
our green onions, white part. It already started to smell good, guys. Keep just mixing. Guys, you see the garlic? When you see the garlic red color, just try to uh, make sure that the other side is also red color. That's what we need. And I'm gonna close the fire. Guys, what I need here is I want to take out the um, green onions white part and garlic away. When taking out, try not to take the oil, rather to take just the vegetables. The oil there, I'm gonna use it for our spices, guys. So guys, the same, the same oil and the same pan we are gonna need now for our red hot chili pepper, all right? Just place all of it here. If you want it to be more spicy, you can use more. For us, this is enough. That's why I'm just using this much to burn a little bit then we are gonna strain the oil it already smells spicy guys I'm gonna close it guys what I do here is I'm taking a bowl like this and I have this strainer I'm gonna just pour it here and make sure that all of it goes in. We are not gonna use the red hot chili pepper. We are gonna use oil. First of all, guys, we are gonna now prepare a sauce. For this, I'm gonna use one. In total, I use two tablespoons of olive oil. This is the second tablespoon right then I'm gonna use soya sauce I've already used two tablespoons of soya sauce for the chicken marinating and now I'm gonna use two here so in total four tablespoons then guys I'm gonna add two tablespoons of water Then we are going to use here also two tablespoons of apple vinegar because of oil it just goes away. Also I'm going to use um, um, honey. If you don't have honey you can replace it with sugar. Here I'm using one teaspoon. We're just going to make sure we take out the honey from the tablespoon. It up well. Guys, I'm opening the fire for frying vegetables. So first I'm going to put our um, strained oil. Remember? So this is spicy smoky. Make sure it all goes in. Then what we do guys is we start placing our onion first. Chopped onions. Our Top uh, carrots, red pepper, and green pepper. It just all goes in, guys. So, uh, green onion also goes in, guys. It's all chopped. Now, guys. Remember our spices that we've prepared ahead. It's uh, red 
green pepper, black pepper, and salt. We mix it up well. All right. And we just spread to our beautiful food. Just add on top of it the sauce that we've prepared. Just spread it around. Then guys, remember the um, three pieces of red dried pepper? This is not going to make it that much spicy because we have already added the spicy thing in on oil. So we are going to add this too and we are going to mix it up. The sauce is gone, it means it's ready and just uh, make sure that your carrots are cooked. Right now mine is cooked so I'm going to close the fire and I'm going to place it in, an, uh, in a bowl. I'm using the same bowl that I used for uh, oil, so the oil will also go in. Now we're going to start cooking our chicken. So guys, now we are going to cook our um, chicken. So I have used already vegetable oil, four tablespoons. So approximately in here, I'm going to just add vegetable oil here. And this much is enough. I'm going to open the fire. It should be on the highest level, guys. What we're going to do now is we are going to put our chicken in bigger, uh, bigger bowl. Then I'm going to add here three tablespoons of flour. And then I'm going to use only the white part of the egg. We're gonna mix it up now. Placed small piece of chicken here to check it out if the oil is ready. If you see this much bubbles in here, it means it's ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start placing our chicken just like this. Try to keep your face a little bit far away in order not to get burned. If it's all connected, then you can just separate them just like this with your spoon. Guys, once your chicken, you try it out, and once it's ready, then you just close the fire. At this stage, we are going to use strain again, so we will not have the oily thing all in our stomach. I'm just going to pour little by little. what we are doing here is we are mixing it so all the oil will go in and you see how much oil I already strained I'm gonna transfer our fried chicken to our vegetables here Once we've done this, you mix it up so all the 
um, taste that will mix with the chicken. Once you have this is the totally delicious food guys. I recommend all of you to try it out and you will be falling in love with Korean cuisine and you will be also wanting for more and more Korean food. I hope you enjoyed guys the video. Thank you for watching us. Guys, if you like our videos, don't forget to click the like button and you can also subscribe to our channel. Wishing you all to have delicious evening. Goodbye.